Hey guys, my name is Fuzzy Cub, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. So I apologize for the uh, absence of episodes over the last week or so. I have been streaming the last two days, so it's not as if I didn't do anything, but it's just taking a lot longer than I thought to actually get the stuff together for this episode. Oh, and it also looks like Stirkat's building a house. Oh, and I did actually keep everything from the stream downstairs in a little box, so we can open it together. And yes, I haven't managed to build any more of the tower, but um, I'll, I might actually do that on the stream. So we have a cake fault that we completed with... Uh, Evid? Question mark? I can't remember who that was with. But uh, these two are from Evid. This is a bounty crate, and I think the other one is bounty crate, and a boss kill. The boss kill was with Evid. You, you really have to go and see my uh, last live stream. Um, Evid's supposed to be the chill one, but they were very... Very, very not chill vaults. One vault, I think we had like two seconds left on the timer. No, 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 Fuzzy does not like this. Anywho, let's open these crates and see what we have inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at all that vault gear. Ooh, nice. Wow. We got a lot of stuff, including a jewel with wood affinity. Nice. What else do we have? Oh, some vault gear. A trinket. Ooh, another trinket. The last trinket I got was um the the fire immunity one, and I, I kind of used it up building this base. So um, I'm looking forward to a new one. So we got three jewels out of that. We have a trap disarm size 59. Not great. A wooden affinity size 28. That is actually quite good. And... Ooh, copiously, 1.3% for 87. That will use up an entire slot even on a pickaxe. Oh, another one here. 84 mining speed. Hmm. What do you guys think? Should we just scrap those ones and try and craft our own? Because they're not very good. We also got a lot of jewels running the last few vaults as well. We got a 25 smelting, a 25 mining speed. That one's quite good. We got a 13 coin affinity, which I'm going to put on the next good pickaxe I make. Ooh, not so great. That one's much better than the other one. Pulverizing, I don't really need. And Ornate Affinity, 17. Yeah, I'll definitely put that one on a pickaxe. So let's put the jewels in here, throw the rest of the stuff away, and then we will open all of the bits and pieces that we got from the vault. Okay, let's roll all of these. I hope I get a good trinket. Ooh, is the glue one that you can actually walk up walls like a spider? Allows wall climbing, yeah. This one's not great, but it's still a trinket. This one is, ooh, tier three hunger immunity, nice. 8% Valara affinity. Pants are seven, eight, 11 armor and an empty prefix. These could actually be our new pants because our current ones are also 11 armor, but they don't have any extra stuff on them. So extra item quantity and let's see what we can roll on these guys. Ooh, 10% healing efficiency as well. Does that mean I heal more or faster? Let me know in the comments below what that actually means. And we also have a relic fragment. Dragon set. Nice. And speaking of relics, we have not one, not two, but three whole relic sets ready to turn into relic, ped bleh, relic pedestals. So let's uh, let's make our first three relics. See, I even have the pedestals crafted. So how do these guys work? You put them down and you click it. I assume then they want you to put in these. Oh, and then you make it. Nice. Look at that rainbow cupcake. Really matches our skin, unfortunately. And the second one is the Nazar Bon Kugu thing. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it terribly, but uh, yeah, I, I can't, I can't say that word. And lastly, the warrior set. One, two, three, four, five, and go. So this means we should have an extra what? Forty-five seconds? Is it fifteen seconds it gives you? Next thing I want to do. I want to go do some fortuning. Let us start with the more common ones. The Larimar, the Wudadai, the Alexandrite, Painite, and the Bennies. Mm, 
Look at all that Laramar. So we got just one over two stacks. Not bad at all. And then we get 27 wooded eye. This is really good because wooded eye are very important in the crafting of the new pickaxes and stuff, which we will get into later this episode. Alexandrite, seven, meh, not too bad. Painite, we actually need to make repair cores and we are fresh out of painite. That is 17, nice. Benny boys. We have not even a stack, Benny. Why have you betrayed me? Now let's do these guys. We have Escalium, three, Bomb Ignite, three, Ashium, five, Gorgonite, which we actually need, two, Pizza Knight, three, Tubium, four, and Xenium. My arch nemesis, Xenium. I need to make one more Pog which I'll tell you about later, to be able to make a certain item in this episode. And this thing is the only thing standing in my way. And knowing fuzzy luck, I'm going to get a zero drop. No, we got two. Woo. Now onto the rare boys. Let's see how much black opal we get. That is five, not bad. And echo gems. Oh wow, three. So no zero drops. That's uh, unusual for my look. Let's um, pop inside before we get murdered by zombies and creepers. Oh, and uh, yes, I, I, I died twice more to the lava. Mainly because I keep forgetting I don't have my elytra on and I, uh, I launch myself into the lava. And at that stage, it's just giving yourself up to the sweet, sweet embrace of death. You might also be wondering why I have this in my inventory. If you remember from last episode, I, I got a little bit confused about what Hell wanted us to do at the Rainbow Pool. So, and I made up my own rules. Evil Fuzzy was going to do evil deeds. And this is going to be one of my evil deeds. Now, if you all remember a few episodes ago, C-Dubs tricked P-Porp into going into a vault using a warp pad. And I think that has um, damaged their bridge of friendship. So I think we need to represent that damage somehow, don't you? Real friends don't trick friends into deadly vaults. I sense a rift in the bridge of friendship. <laughs> and if you would like to suggest some uh, evil deeds, why don't you join my Discord? It is linked in the description below in this video. Now, earlier in this video, I did mention that I had something planned that has been uh, taking quite some time. So the thing I want to do is I want to unlock refined storage. Simple storage is okay, but it is quite laggy and limited in some ways. So last season we unlocked applied energistics and I'm going to try and go for refined storage this season. I don't know the pros and cons of either one, but I'm stuck in my ways and I am going to go for refined storage. Unfortunately, it is seven research points. And unfortunately, we have six knowledge stars. Now I did have like nine, but I gave one to Chris to unlock waystones. I gave one to Zinji to unlock waystones. And yesterday, Rob and Corey decided they were going to do a research group to unlock double pouches. And Fuzzy just had to get involved in that. So I used up two more knowledge stars, but at least we have double pouches now. So I think it's about time we opened up the rift and ran a few more vaults just to get that last little bit of knowledge essence so we can unlock refined study. <coughs> refined storage. Let's get geared up. So I think this uh, vault is a level 30 vault, question mark. So let's hop in and hope we don't die. We have, ooh, opulent, but our bounty is kill husks. So, so two birds, one stone. But fuzzy, just get knowledge. Concentrate on the knowledge and the monoliths and the husks. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Is this an ore room? Uh -huh, you're trapped. Ooh, pizza night. I wonder will we find any more uh, echo gems? I've been getting a lot of echo ore in the vaults the last few times. I wonder if it's because they um, nerfed the mod boxes, or not mod boxes, the uh, mystery boxes. Also, I don't think we're ever going to worry about Larimar anymore. 
Ooh, I see a black opal. Looks like we're gonna get a bounty already. Oh. Oof, all these tier two mobs are really starting to hurt. I need better armor, quick. Thankfully I have those legendary health rolls. Eh. Eh. I miss reach. And we're already forgetting about our uh, objective of getting the knowledge essence. Come on, Fuzzy, concentrate. My spawner did not fizzle fizzle. Okay, let's just go to the next room. Concentrate, Fuzzy, concentrate! Give me your knowledge. Come on, come on, come on. Whew, nice. Oh, mega. And some knowledge, nice. I can't actually remember how much we need, but I know it's not three. <laughs> sorry, no, no, thank you. No, I'm not interested. No, sorry. Oh, more knowledge. Ooh, well, hello there. I'm not sure where the rest of them are. Fault diamond. They do so much damage. So much damage. Full diamond. No monolith yet. Those little buggers are hiding really well. Ugh, more ores. This thing just wants me to get ores, I'm convinced. It knows I need knowledge, but it's like, here, take these instead. Are you trying to distract me, Iskel? Die. Stupid baby. Hey, one more knowledge. More knowledge. More knowledge. I can feel my brain getting bigger. Give me all that knowledge. Nice. Hello? Lag? <laughs> Bucket spam lag. But there is knowledge in there. So it's worth it. Also, have they upped the amount of uh, skill essence as well? Because I seem to be getting a ton of skill essence. Is that a coin, I see? It is. Give me all those coins. I'm not running low on coins, but you would never, you never ever have enough coins. Let's keep going. 12 minutes left. We need the knowledge. Ooh, is this a dragon room? Yeah, this is a dragon room. Not doing that. Not at my current level. Not with my current gear. Nope. Sorry. Nope. Sorry. No dragons. Incidentally, that was the first time I've seen a dragon room in this game. Also, still no monolith. It's a lot of groaning going on down there. Did... Husks turn into zombies when they drowned? Is that a vanilla Minecraft thing? Really? Guys, am I... Am I going insane? <laughs> Drop creeper. I did not even see that one over there. This seems like a very uh, dangerous place to be. Will it be worth it? No, not at all. At least we have the living chest. That should get us some, uh, some knowledge essence. Yes. Hopefully this brings us over the uh, the amount we need to um, unlock refined storage. Seven minutes. Seven minutes left. And if I remember correctly, a chest here. Ooh, with a jewel. Living axing. And wow, this is a really good jewel. Possibly the best one I've found. Come on, break, break, break. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Water, you almost did me dirty there. This lag is not helping. Ooh, knowledge. And a vault diamond. Worth it. So let's pop up to the top, and I think that's probably enough for this room. For this vault, actually. Ow! Fuzzy versus cactus, again. Three minutes left. Oh, great. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you guys here. Some uh, crowd control is sometimes necessary in vaults. Let's uh, hop out of this vault and see how much knowledge essence we have. 
Eat. 4,400. Nice. What did we get? We got an opulent, which was nice. A few trap chests. One epic gilded. Nice. Coin piles. We got 40 coin piles. Nice. Couple of ores. Unalived quite a few mobs. Did you want to know a secret? That's actually the second fault I've run. The first fault? Fuzzy forgot to press the record button again. So let's get out of this gear and see exactly how much knowledge essence we have and if we can make that knowledge star to unlock refined storage. Oh, we also have to get our uh, bounty and we may as well open all three of these that we got in streams we've run with the other guys on the server. So boop, boop, boop. Nice. We get in the oh, we got some knowledge essence there as well. So that brings us up to... Is, is that enough? We're just three knowledge essence short. Ugh. But we did get more stuff. Oh wait, wait, no, it's fault essence. Maybe we can ask someone online now if they have uh, three knowledge essence to spare. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Anybody at home? Hey. Woo! Whoa. What? <laughs> yeah, it's my, it's my eternal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that she said is so funny. I have to oh. use it somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, one, two, three. What is that? That's Larimar. Did I bring the wrong thing? <laughs> cut! Um, cut! Cut! <laughs> cut! <laughs> She's a cat. She just... She doesn't get it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Can't work with people these days. Professional Minecrafters. Sure. No, don't tell her I said that. Shush. <laughs> and take two. What? <laughs> yeah i have to where am i you are there standing I... in front of my thing you're probably falling through space at the moment no i was up down in your basement <laughs> <laughs> okay take two yeah okay you, take you, wanna... one to... you totally didn't do it wrong the first time <laughs> no 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 not at all okay yeah mm -hmm. i have um a, a small amount uh here and here and there and uh, this one's full I take a stack. Nah. Take, take more than a stack. You're gonna need I it. I take two stack. <laughs> I take five stack. Yeah, that that's probably probably. At least now I have my knowledge yeah. essence. I can finally unlock refined storage. And then I can be poor again because it's gonna take so much to make it. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Unlocking and go poor. Yeah. But it'll be worth it in the end. Now I need to go beg code if it'll make me a, a, a power generator. <laughs> <laughs> I keep begging. Yeah, <laughs> beg until you get stuff. <laughs> Thanks for the knowledge essence. Yeah, no problem. Enjoy Bye. your basalt. <laughs> yes. Bye-bye. Let's just uh, leave this here for him. <laughs> that is enough to make a generator a configurator and a couple of energy pipes so hopefully i'll be able to use those to power the ors system so before i unlock the ors system i would like to show you guys the multitude of things that i've done around my base now i've been working very very hard over the last few days it's one of the reasons why i didn't have any episodes out over the last day or so but uh let me just pop into free cam and i'll show you all the stuff that i've done around the base so first of all we have started to put in the windows and I went with the red and black framed, I think it's called framed panes or framed glass or something. I am planning to do it all the way up here as well. I finally, finally did all of the detailing around the outside and on the towers and stuff. I did do a prototype tree. I think I like it, but I'm not sure. I might, I might try and get some of the, um, the more red looking leaves and mix it in as well. So it's kind of lava colored. I've done quite a lot on the bridge, but I still need to do more here. And I'm contemplating putting another set of bridge uh, arches there. 
And then Code and I have to somehow figure out how to make his transition into mine. We also now have a working clock tower. Let's pop up to that quickly. It is just a few water wheels. And they are kind of sped up a little bit to power one of the, the clock uh, mechanisms. I think it's called a clockwork mechanism or a clockwork bearing. And that shows the actual time in Minecraft. So uh, that's quite nice. And then I used the uh, neon numbers just to make it look like a clock. I was going to put another one on this side, but yeah, this thing was barely powerful enough to do one clock. I might eventually get like a windmill or something in here and, and power four of them, but that's a later fuzzy issue. We've also finally started to decorate the towers. This is kind of what I'm going for now. It's um, spruce beams with spruce flooring, sun metal, and cyan terracotta, which I think looks really good. And I've also used our wall gaps here to uh, get some power from Create into all the other towers. So at least we can use the towers for more than just decoration. And then this tower that I'm using for my botany pots, which um, I actually got this idea from an Iskel video. Every single time something appears in the vaulter that I haven't got or I can farm, I'm going to try and make a farm for it, especially if it's in the botany pots, because these things generate passively and I don't have to worry about having stuff in the system. Uh, eventually when we get our uh, refined storage system, we will plumb this into it, but at the moment it's a, it's a very manual thing. But we'll get there. And lastly, this special tower. I have made this lovely spiral staircase going all the way up to the top of the tower. In the top, I want to put all of the things that basically have been nerfed or are no longer in the game, such as the pickaxe table thingy and magnets and our immortal pickaxe and stuff, sort of like a, a museum tower. But on the stairway up, I am going to put artwork from you guys. So the first thing I'm actually gonna put down here is it's not actually even from you guys. It's a, it's a very special artwork. Stirkat is always watching. Next, we have the <laughs> artwork that we stole from Peeporp and replaced with the uh, the Fuzzy Lisa face. Uh, this one here is made from my Discord. This uh, actually happened one day on stream, I believe. He basically let a vault dweller run up behind me and kill me and stood there laughing. CWG, let's run a co-op vault together. Fuzzy, yeah, we'll protect each other, right? We'll protect each other, right? Wrong. And the last piece of art I have comes from Jezza, one of my moderators in my Discord. Oh, and if you aren't part of my Discord, in, in the description below, there is a link to my Discord channel, The Bear Cave. Just click on it and you will be kept up to date on everything going on in my videos and video schedules and live stream schedules and general shenanigans. Can't forget general shenanigans. So this one was when I died for the first time in a vault and because I'm quite blind, I accidentally threw my, <laughs> my spirit somewhere and we couldn't find it for a very, very long time. But uh, thankfully on the stream, someone managed to spot it and I did get all my stuff back. So if you would like to have some artwork on my tower wall, join my Discord and send me your stuff in the art link. I do love seeing fuzzy fan art. But now the moment we are all waiting for. Seven knowledge stars? Nom 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 nom. And we unlock refined storage. Looks like we get a transmog as well. Hmm. 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 I, I don't think we'll be using that transmog. And I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. Next episode, we will start our refined storage system because I have run out of all the time I have today. So if you like this episode, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and if I manage to get this video out today, more than likely I'm going to have a live stream tonight at 8 to 9 p.m. GMT. So keep an eye out on the channel and uh, join me for a live stream. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.